In this tutorial, we will be looking at phase modulation. This tutorial will cover the basics of combining oscillators, while the next tutorial will put some of this together to build a synth based on the well-known Yamaha DX7 synth. Phase modulation is a lot like frequency modulation, but involves modulating the phase of an oscillator, where the phase means the position in the waveform. We can use the cosine object to control the phase of the oscillator, scanning through the cosine waveform as we move from 0 to 1 as demonstrated here. We can also use a phase or object to control the phase. When the frequency of the phase or is audio or 8, we hear a sine tone. This might seem really dull, but controlling phase instead of frequency makes it very easy to make the whole thing modular. We add the plus object before the phase so that we can apply modulation in addition to the main phase or. We can then duplicate this as a module and use a second version to modulate the phase of the first. We can use a multiply object to scale the amount of phase modulation. Since it is modular, it is very easy to add more modulating oscillators. Finally, let's add an envelope into each of the modules so that the amplitude is ramped over time. The AirTrig object is just a simple receive object to trigger both envelopes simultaneously. We get a very rich harmonic spectrum from just two oscillators. Although the sonic result is much like FM synthesis, the difference in approach makes it easy to make a multiple oscillator version with identical oscillator units as we will see in the DX7 example in the next tutorial. <laughs> 